Uh, my name is John Buttermore. I'm the lead development engineer for the 2012 Chevrolet Sonic. What Hillhold does is it uses the chassis control system, our electronic brake modulator, to hold the vehicle from rolling backwards, whether you're on a hill facing down or up, to make the driving experience of a manual transmission easier for both beginners and experts. Yeah, when you come to a stop, the driver puts his foot down on the pedal, and that creates the force in the system. Um, when it detects that it's on a hill and it's stopped and needs the um, hill assist, it will use the force that the driver applied with the um, chassis control system and will hold the vehicle in place for two seconds um, after the driver has released the brake pedal, allowing them to get the clutch and gas blended for a smooth takeoff. Uh, the chassis control system has yaw and pitch uh, sensors as part of its sensor package along with steering wheel angle sensors um, to, to, for the chassis control, stability control systems and ABS systems which are standard on the, all models of this vehicle. The um, pitch sensor can detect a nose up or a nose down. Put the car in a gear, so if you're on a hill where your nose is up and you put the car into first gear, it'll know that you're requesting a hill hold assist because if you have a pitch detected greater than a 5% grade, it will use that brake pressure the driver's applied as the hill hold pressure. The system does also work while you're facing downhill, kind of the same way. If you're facing downhill, you'll be at a stop, and if you throw the vehicle into reverse, it'll know that you have pitch down plus reverse means you want to have the hill hold um, when you do the takeoff. Anytime the brakes are applied in the car, the brake light comes on. It's not just off of a sensor from the brake pedal like it was um, back in older cars. What it does is anytime there's brake pressure applied to the system, the brake lights come on. When you're on the hill hold, that's also accurate. So if you're taking off or uphill or downhill, your brake lights will stay on even after you've released the brake. So the guy behind you knows that you're still stopped. It's the right communication. So we come to a stop here on a hill going forward. I have the brake applied and the clutch applied. I selected into first gear here to do the start. So what I'm going to do here is remove my foot off the brake and let some time go by just to show the feature and then blend the clutch in and have a nice easy takeoff. So all I just do is release the brake, it holds, then give it the throttle, and here you go up the hill, no problems.